Hello everyone and welcome back to the Project Corner. Today I'm starting my descent down the rabbit hole called resource leveling. Now this is a highly debated topic when it comes to Microsoft Project and it has a number of things that you need to be aware of. So right from the start there's a lot to discuss about resource management and a lot to discuss specifically about leveling those resources. And what do we mean by resource leveling? It's leveling out every resource in a schedule so that they are not over allocated. So utilizing your resources the best way possible for any schedule. It has a lot of variables in it. And because this is such a big topic, I will split this video up in a couple of parts. And today is part one. Uh, so let's head on over to a normal schedule. And what I did is I copied the construction template, which is available from the new option. And then you just click on the commercial construction template here. Now I know from this template there is already resources that are that are over allocated. That's that little red icon there. Now we're not going to click on that resource right clicking doesn't make that much sense from this perspective. What we're going to do is we're going to navigate to resource and then there is a whole section available talking about resource leveling. There's even a group specifically for resource leveling. So there's the level selection, level resource, level all, clear leveling, next over allocation, and then there are the leveling options. Now I'm not going to cover the leveling options in this video today, but today I'm going to show you what the other options are. So leveling selection, which is a strange thing because I have a selection here and it doesn't show up. So what does the option say? It says level selection. Leveling resolves resource conflicts or over allocations. But I have one selected here. And it doesn't solve just one activity and leveling that. No, you will need to select multiple tasks to be able to level a selection. So let's do it right now and see what happens nothing happens. So that means that within this selection there are resources over allocated but they are not over allocated within that section. So the resource over allocation for this task comes from a section outside that selection and the same goes for this one here. There is, uh, there is an option to level a selection but that needs to be a selection where the over allocation actually happens and that is not the case with these two over allocated tasks. If we select more than those two let's see what happens then and here we see that the over allocation has been resolved in these specific tasks. And what we see happening here is a split which basically means that a resource starts working here then starts working here and then starts working or finishing up the submit bond activity or at the end of that task. So selecting these three tasks here doesn't solve any over allocation. As soon as we add the bottom two over allocations something else happens. The over allocations disappear and one of the tasks skips a whole wide range into the future. The duration is still four because this is work days, but the end date of that task has been uh, postponed radically. Now right from the start that might not be the solution that you're looking for, but this is what resource leveling does out of the box for that specific task set. So if we want to take a look at resource leveling from not from a selection base but one of the other options we can easily clear the leveling that we've just done 
And by clicking on this, we can say, okay, well, I want to clear the leveling for the whole project or just for specific tasks. Let's click on the entire project and let's see what happens. So everything is set back to the situation that was happening before that leveling. So this is easy for, for a, a what if scenario kind of way of working, seeing what would work best for you in your project. So next to level selection, we also have the level resource. And this leveling resource is a better option where you can say, okay, well, I want to level, for instance, the GC general manager. And if I click on level now, I will see that nothing happens because probably that resource wasn't over allocated in the first place. So let's clear that leveling again. And let's see who actually is over allocated by navigating to the split screen. And I can go to the resource sheet. And now we'll know, all right, project management is over allocated. So let's see if I click on resource leveling, I can also select the project manager. And if I click on select now, I see that there's another switch for a whole lot of resources. It doesn't solve everything in the schedule, but we do see that a number of over allocated resources now have been uh, taken out of the equation. And the duration of the project has it been extended to 345 days. So leveling a single resource might make sense if you have a very critical resource that you know is that is highly requested and you want to have him not being an over allocated resource. So let's clear that leveling again and let's do the full Monty and select the level all option. By leveling all at the end of that calculation, I expect there is no red icon anymore in the whole schedule. So let's do that right now. I'll click on resource and I'll click on level all. And after a bit of calculation, I see that my schedule now takes me 355 days, another 10 days extra. And I see that there is a situation here where this task has been skipped and we've already seen that before. And we see a number of other items moving out of their way. So here is the general labor crew taking another split task and then let's have a look at the install pneumatics also moves and everything is quite okay there's another split task here but there is no over allocation which is exactly what we wanted. And this is a way to clear your schedule and give them, give everyone on board an easy feel with enough work to do without being over allocated. But is this the best scheduling or over allocation uh, solver at the moment? I believe it isn't. And that's where the leveling options comes into play, where you, for instance, can set that the split option isn't an actual option for Microsoft Project to take into account. But let's click on clear leveling for now. And let's have a look at the last button for now, which is called the next over allocation. So the next over allocation looks at uh, time rather than placement in the Gantt chart. For instance, it will skip to this task, which is the first task with an over allocation, but then it will skip row number five, because if you look closely, row number five is later in time than the obtained building permits. So let's have a look at that. And I'll do that again, where I will navigate to the first task here. 
and it will skip to the submit bond and we'll skip over the prepare and it will skip to the obtain building permits so this is the first or this is the second over allocation that you want to take into account now this was my first struggle into resource leveling and as you've already seen i have been struggling about with the level selection uh, the level resource doesn't quite look like what i want at the moment but everything will become clear once we dive into the leveling options which will be part of part two and there might even be part three because well there's a lot of options to cover so i hope you liked this video if you did give it a thumbs up if you have struggled with resource leveling yourself and want to have an open discussion about the resource leveling just hit the comments below and i'd be happy to respond to that with that this was me again for the project corner and i'll be back in two weeks